Hello Voxel Heads, I am Panda Pops and I'm here to give you a new Vox Edit tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the templates in Vox Edit. I suggest if you haven't already, take a look at the Modeler Basics and Animator Basics in this playlist if you haven't used the program before. Vox Edit automatically downloads the latest template files whenever you open the template tab so you will need to be connected to the internet to see them. These files are created by our animator team in the sandbox and they're designed to work perfectly with the sandbox game maker. Click on the template you want to start using and VoxEdit will prompt you to create a folder where the rig, animation, model and thumbnail files will be saved. Once the files are created, you'll be in the template mode of the animator, which removes access to anything that could change the animation or rigging. This is designed to help new users create fun animated assets without being able to break the way animations work. The skeleton panel on the left shows how the rig is constructed and you can, and you can even sh see the rig with this button to see it in the 3D view. Bounding box button can help you see how objects will collide with your figure. You have full access to the library oh, with your figure. You have full access to the library panel where you can delete, duplicate, import and edit any voxel models you want. If you want to try designing different heads, you can create multiple object files and drag them to the head node in the skeleton panel. You can also unlink objects from nodes with the three dots menu if you do not want them in your design. The timeline panel can select the different template animations and play them to check your design works well. Now to edit mo the models, you can use the pencil button in the skeleton panel or the library, or you can double click the object you wish to edit. The skeleton option will display the rest of the rig as a ghost image for reference. In the animator, in the modeler, you have access to the full toolset. You can color and model on the template file, or you can erase everything and start from scratch. When you're done modeling, press the home button to save and go back. To keep colors consistent across my figures, I find it helpful to start with a pre-made palette that I can load from the menu, or if I'm experimenting with different colors, I can save the palette when I'm done with the first object, then load the save palette when I start a second one. If you add more colors, you can append the palette and load again with each new object. If you make significant changes to the model's geometry, you might need to adjust the pivot. This is helpful when you can see the rest of the rig's ghost, so you can line, up, line it up correctly, making small adjustments to the template pivots. Often work fine, but making changes that are too big can easily break the animation with joins separating in weird ways. If you wish to have everything open up and change animations to templates, there are some ways to go about this, shown in other videos. However, doing this can cause animations to not work correctly, so it would be important to check and edit all animations. It's also very important never to unlock any equipment template. Equipment has a different classification that allows it to be equipped in Game Maker. Unlocking these templates will result in them being classed as entities and no longer being able to be equipped. I hope you now have a better understanding on templates and how they work. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload brand new videos. See you next time, Voxel lovers!